Hi, and welcome to The Travel Boss. Today's video is about the top 10 things to do in Glasgow. Glasgow is the largest city in Scotland, situated on the River Clyde. Well known for its beautiful, thriving shopping districts and the culture that it has to offer, it attracts a large number of tourists every year. It doesn't matter whether you want to experience culture, food, or shopping, you'll find something to fit your interests within the boundaries of this up-and-coming city. The slogan, People Make Glasgow, really does fit the place, and you'll be having friendly conversations with locals and travelers alike there before you know it. Journey with us through the best things to do in Glasgow to learn just how vital the history of the city was to make it what it is today. Let's get started. Number 10. Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum Situated within the heart of Glasgow's famous West End, you can find Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum. Standing for more than a century, it was purpose-built to be what it is today, with stunning architecture and a range of separate exhibit rooms. As a free attraction, it really shouldn't be missed, and it's only a quick walk away from the Kelvin Grove subway station, making it easy to get to. Inside, you'll find more than 22 themed galleries and 8,000 objects to capture your attention. Go from seeing Salvador Dali's Christ of Street, John of the Cross, to seeing exhibits on dinosaurs and prehistoric mammals. Not to mention all of the beautifully displayed animals and the skeleton of a stag that could make even the tallest of people feel short. Number 9. The Riverside Museum if you would like to experience more of Glasgow's past during your time in the city, you certainly shouldn't miss the opportunity to visit the Riverside Museum. You can follow the city's subway system around a Partick subway station, and it's just a seven-minute walk away. The subway is the easiest way to get around the city, and with its loop system, you're unlikely to get lost. Inside the Riverside Museum, you'll find something for everyone while diving into the rich history that Glasgow has to offer. Everything from locomotives and vintage cars to an actual stormtrooper can be found on display there. So take a step back in history and walk through the interactive shops you'll be presented with, climb aboard the exhibits, and have fun. Number 8. Glasgow Science Center Have you got children you want to keep entertained while traveling? If so, then this is the attraction for them. The Glasgow Science Center is purpose-built to both teach and entertain children giving them an insight into the world of science and technology. Children under the age of seven can use the Big Explorer area, where they can use water and operate a crane to keep a pretend cargo ship balanced. Or they can put on their little puppet show under the sea while having some fun with a musical shark and a giant walk on piano. If your children are very young, then they'll probably have a lot of fun in the soft play area on the bottom floor. But adults and children alike will find the planetarium captivating, letting your imaginations run across the sensations. Number 7. Glasgow Cathedral Most of the medieval cathedrals that exist throughout the United Kingdom are now ruins, so you should take advantage of seeing one of the last remaining great cathedrals while you're in Glasgow. It has been used for worship for more than 800 years and has one of the largest collections of post-war stained glass windows. You can see the brilliant arches, hand-carved pews, and memorial pieces that are dotted on every wall. If you have an interest in architecture, history, or even photography, then the Glasgow Cathedral is the building that you want to see. Number 6. The Necropolis Sitting directly adjacent from the Glasgow Cathedral, you'll find one of the oddest attractions that you should see during your time in Glasgow. Modeled on the Pere Lachaise in Paris, the necropolis is now known as one of the most significant cemeteries in the whole of Europe. In the summer months, you can find an array of flowers, bees and butterflies adding color to the 50,000 monuments that sit in the 37 acres of land. You're safe to explore for free, and you're safe knowing that park rangers patrol the cemetery on a daily basis. Chances are you'll recognize an area or two, as the necropolis is featured in a wide range of television programs and films. Number 5. The People's Palace and Winter Gardens Do you enjoy learning about the history of each new city that you visit? Now, as weather-dependent as this attraction is, it will give you the opportunity to view the way life was in Glasgow throughout the 18th to the 20th century. Inside of the main house, you'll find a collection of artifacts, photographs, prints, and films from across the years. 
The winter gardens outside of the house are beautiful, which is what makes it such a weather-dependent attraction. You can wander amongst plants from far-off lands and see the beautifully restored Dalton Fountain. If you start to get a little bit hungry among the grounds, then there's a fairly priced cafe where you can rest and have a bite to eat. Number 4. The OVO Hydro If you like to watch performances while you're traveling, then it would be more than worth having a look at what artists are playing at the OVO Hydro at the time that you're traveling. They've housed many a famous name in their purpose-built entertainment venue. And with many surrounding bars and restaurants, you'll be able to keep yourself busy both before and after. The venue itself is quite a sight and has enough room for a large number of people watching the performance. But it quite often shows not just music, but comedy and a variety of other shows. You do need to be aware that it can get quite busy, but for most people this just adds to the atmosphere. Number 3. Pollock Country Park As the only country park in the whole of Glasgow, it has its own reputation. Add to this that it has won awards such as the best park in Britain and the best park in Europe over the past decade, and you'll know that it's worth seeing. With walking trails set among 360 acres of green land, you will be met with the opportunity to see an array of animals, including highland cattle, up close. Children will absolutely love it, but they'll also be entertained by the great areas built specifically for children to play in and the natural mini waterfalls that they'll have the opportunity to see depending on which trail you take. Number 2. City Chambers Situated in the famous George Square, the City Chambers Act as the home to Glasgow City Council. You can take a free guided tour through the building at either 10.30 a.m. or 2.30 p.m. on weekdays, but unfortunately, they aren't available at the weekend. From the outside of the building, you wouldn't even get the idea to expect the grand inner chambers that lie within the case of the outer architecture. With a ballroom that appears to have stepped out of another century, and two spires with decorated dome ceilings, the tour guides all provide an exceptional service, telling you just the right amount of information to teach you about what you're seeing. Make sure you take a camera with you. You'll get some beautiful shots in there. Number 1. The Glasgow School of Art you can learn a lot about the history of Glasgow from this attraction, which features an hour-long tour. You can learn about the famous Rennie McIntosh and his life, from being a student to a master designer whose work is known around the world. Unfortunately, the building did suffer fire damage recently, so it has had to be restored. The thing that really fascinates a lot of travelers about McIntosh's work is his mind. He managed to work in a variety of different sectors, acting as a lead architect, a painter, an interior designer, and an all-around brilliant artist. His name is known to the vast majority of people who call Glasgow home, and you can see why too. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.